our theme for 2020-21 was connections in many different ways. I approached Weston Sprott with the idea of trying to partner with a school outside of Juilliard with our percussionist. He immediately thought of Wynn because Juilliard has a previous relationship with them. And it turned out to be the perfect school to partner with since their students are a little bit younger than ours. I had the idea of commissioning a piece where we could involve both parts of the prep program, the MAP division and the pre-college division. And that quickly expanded into adding WIN as well. You know, I've never really done something in this particular capacity before with um, students of different age groups learning and also different playing levels. And somehow the idea of it takes a village to raise a child kind of came about in me. And I was like, oh, I think I can play off of that in conjunction with some of the history and the culture behind the steel pan instrument. When steel pan was sort of coming up in Trinidad, each community had something to add, and each community also had their own steel band, and that's how I looked at um, each school. He made the distinctions by instrument groups. The wind tribe would be the uh, plastic gourds. The map tribe played mostly metallic instruments. The JPCA tribe played on skins, they played on djembes, and the JPCB tribe played on wood instruments. And so that distinguished them sonically and distinguished them also by age, but the end product, of course, was all of them playing together, thus the village. You know, as a percussionist, we have, to, we have like snare and bass drum and marimba and stuff, but for our section, we had to find like metal scraping noises and some metal sounds. My favorite part was just trying to find the right materials, you know, and, you know, have a deeper understanding of the piece. We all have to play as one. We have to feel the same pulse, the same rhythm, the same feeling. But just being in person and being able to, like, see the person right next to you, we're able to communicate more. I was more than impressed with the younger students. They really did a great job, even though they had maybe slightly simpler music. It was very crucial to the idea and the essence of, of the piece because culture had a, a huge part to play. There's this thing in Trinidad that we do, it's called chip, it, well we say chip or chipping, and it's kind of like walking rhythmically to like music. But the thing is when we do it in Trinidad and you hear a lot of people doing it, you hear lots of like dragging of the feet and I was trying to recreate those sounds. I was nervous the first day that I went like in person, but then I got used to it. The Wind Tribe was third grade and fourth grade. I like to see like the older people who are better than me play. One of the older kids would help us like if we didn't understand it, they would show us how to do it right, and then we would play together. The first rehearsal as always is usually a little bit rough, and I'm also hearing all of this live for the first time. And I just threw out the idea, you know, it would have been really cool if we had people dancing to this. And I thought, yes, that's an amazing idea. We should do that. We had two wonderful choreographers, Rachel and Isaiah, who were just a complete joy to work with. When we talked to Kendall Williams, he just kind of described to us his idea and his vision for the piece. And so that's kind of where Isaiah and I drew our inspiration. So I guess I described the movement as very cultural, very rooted, very groovy. So for Isaiah and I being two African-American individuals, we wanted to also team up with other um, African-American individuals that attend Juilliard to just kind of capture that whole setting of what it feels like to come from that background, to have to walk across the land, to really embody that sense of culture and background. I think with the choreography, we really wanted to show like the diversity of everyone in the group and the versatility that we all have as dancers. And we had like sections, we would call one section, this is going to be the contemporary section, and then another section, this would be a little more classical, and then we had some less African movement, and some modern and like Horton and Graham stuff in there. The filming day, there was one musician, he was with the, um, 
youngest one, youngest group and it was his birthday i told the group of dancers i was like when we do the improv like jam we have to go around this one to celebrate him for his birthday i love this process because without me knowing that i was you know interacting in this village there were all these people in the room doing what we should be doing which is you know, performing our art form. 